Lori Mendick with Mendick Family Farms here again. Today we're going to take a look at our hoop house and we're going to discuss a little bit about what I did right, what I maybe could have done better, and just overall general impressions of our hoop house. So come on, let's go. A few things about the greenhouse. Uh, the greenhouse we put up is 30 feet wide by 48 feet long. Stands about 15 feet to the peak, roughly. Uh, the end walls, we didn't buy the end wall kit with the, with the hoop house. We actually made that, we actually uh, framed that in ourselves. The, the poles we uh, got from my father-in-law. He does, he has a clear tree clearing business. And so he was cutting some trees down by Silver Creek and had these nice straight cedars, which he asked if we wanted. We came down and cleaned them off and threw them on the trailer. Well, he threw them on the trailer with a skid steer, which was very nice. And uh, brought them home and we've got, We've got several more to go through to make uh, fence posts and whatnot. We've got about 125 chickens in here, uh, plus a couple guineas. They, uh, they'll winter in here. Uh, we normally have them out on pasture, uh, moving around from uh, place to place to clean up after the cows and sheep. But uh, winter time in Nebraska is can be cold. Well, eh, well today is 50 degrees, so Really can't complain about that, not in January. Uh, we really had a pretty good fall, praise the Lord. But as you come around here, we've got we've got a chicken roost uh, that was just made with some scrap, scrap lumber that we had left over. And I, I should point out too, the end walls, the boards that we're using on there were milled out of lumber that we, uh, out of, out of uh, logs that we got from out of Osceola, out of some, uh, down trees um, so we were able to mill those on our wood mill uh, you can see another video Kaylee did about that uh, and maybe we'll do a little more in-depth on the wood mill at some point but we've got a little extra straw there in the corner which I need to fence out so that the chickens don't destroy that before I can come back in and use it better used in here and we've got our nesting boxes which have a roll away feature. We got him set up kind of Joel Salatin style uh, from his his book that he put out on on how he uses these hoop houses, which is kind of where we got this idea. And uh, you come down here to the end. You can see we've got two bigger doors that swing open. That way we can uh, bring the tractor in here and clean this place out after the chickens have made their mess and we can use that compost for uh, better uses. Got another walk-in door down on this end. And it's hard, I don't know if you can tell, but we do have chicken wire all the way around the edges of the hoop house to protect the poly from the chickens uh, so they wouldn't peck at it. And the poly that we're using is a, is a heavier poly. It's 11 mils and it's a woven poly it's got kind of a mesh to it. Um, you can kind of tell on the door, you know, see where that's kind of woven together pieces. We got that from Northern Greenhouse out of Canada. I'll put a link in the show notes down below. And, uh, but we really like that. It's really been tough. We, we had a 95 mile an hour wind come through uh, a couple weeks ago and the end walls weren't on at that time, but the top poly was on and it didn't show in it didn't come out any worse for wear now we'll kind of go into maybe things that I think I could have done a little better like the end walls if I I, I would have I should have run my post through uh, through the mill and squared them off a little bit it would have made it a lot easier uh, maybe you can tell it's not exactly straight which is what it is. It'll it'll hold the chickens in. It'll it'll keep the end walls fine. But it would have made my life a lot easier putting these doors up. And most people wouldn't probably have that problem because you're going to use uh, four by four posts or six by six, something something more solid. But so that's kind of a me problem. And these doors. I don't really have any problem with those doors. The, the only thing I ran out of enough poly, so I ended up with kind of a clear plastic on one of them. 
which we'll see I guess that'll be a test of which is tougher one other thing too is uh, we had this idea at first that we when we first just had the poly on top and the open ends we needed to get this kind of tightened down so we put uh, twine baling twine across each bay uh, that's not a good idea you can kind of see the black marks there in each bay where it rubbed a little bit we had one place where it actually rubbed through and we had to buy some uh, clear tape and uh, if you buy buy tape to fix your fix your poly uh, make sure that it is UV stabilized and they make stuff that actually is for fixing poly so I would buy that don't just use duct tape uh, not a good idea not, it's not UV stabilized it's going to come back off and possibly even cause the hole to be worse so get this stuff that's made for it and should have no problem but again don't use don't use twine use the the two inch straps or or even zigzag back and forth with a with a nylon rope that I think Joel Salatin that's how he keeps his kind of tightened down so that's what I would recommend things on how we put this together uh, the company we bought this from I'll put a link in the show notes down below as to the company name there but we they uh, sell this this channel and then it's called wiggle wire that goes on and like I said we did a roll up side here which all the way down has straps and basically a handle on each end which you can roll it up from one end or the other, it really doesn't matter. Uh, maybe two people at times might be a good idea. But that way you get ventilation through in the summer. Uh, but the one thing to remember that isn't spelled out real clear in the directions uh, is that this is one piece of poly all the way across. And you want to make sure it comes down to the ground on both sides. That way you don't have a problem with uh, one side being short and your roll-up side being uh, not going, not coming all the way down to the bottom board. Um, that was almost a problem for me, but we, I did manage to not do that by, by not a lot. And you can see the straps we've got going across here. It's the same strapping that's holding this down. This. This is just kind of an extra precaution that uh, they recommended coming down on the first two bays and then the last in the middle one and the last two bays we had enough for the middle one so we did one there too um, and that just kind of helps tighten up the uh, poly the key key to the poly is keeping it tight so it's not flapping uh, if it's flapping it's going to cause it to to get damaged to fail a lot sooner than it should.